Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part nine of my tutorial on how to make Android apps. Today, we're going to focus in on Android styles and themes. And this tutorial is going to be very much laid out like a cheat sheet. I'm going to show you how to do everything, but I'm not going to do anything elaborate that's going to distract specifically from styles and themes. All of the code is available in a link in the description, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are inside of Android Studio, and the application name for this guy is going to be Android Themes, just to keep it simple. You can see everything here, da 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 da. This is probably going to be different for you, it's just that way because this is my website. And I'm going to click Next. And in this situation, I'm going to set this for 10, and you're going to see later on why. You normally wouldn't do that, but I want to make this run on every single device possible and also cover everything you could probably ever need in regards to themes and styles. Next. Keep this simple, I'm just going to have a blank activity. In the next tutorial, I'm going to cover fragments. Click Next, and then come in here and you can see the activity name as well as the layout name, and I'm just going to let those be the way they are. I could come in here and go Android Themes, and then click Finish. Okay, and after Gradle is done building everything, this is what we're going to be left with. I'm going to open this guy up, and then I'm going to go inside of the App folder, and then I'm going to go in the Source folder, go in the Main folder, and then go in the Resources folder. And you're going to have your styles in the Values folder. We're actually going to create a couple Values folders here in a second, and Styles is right there. Okay, and this is what the Files folder is going to look like. And basically, themes and styles are going to allow you to separate your design from the content. And what this is going to do, basically, is just make your app design consistent and easier to maintain. A style is a collection of properties that are going to specify how widgets look. And a theme is going to be a series of styles that are going to be applied to an activity or the whole entire application. Now, basically, you can see this guy right here. What we're going to do to make sure that this is backwards compatible is we are going to just come in here and just delete this whole entire thing right there. And I'm going to go Android. I want to make this compatible the whole way back through Android 10. And I'm going to explain why here in a second. So I'm going to go theme and then I'm going to go light. So that's what I want to use right there. Now let's just come in here and put a little comment inside of here so that I can explain what's going on. Now theme light is just one of the Android themes that are built in. So and theme light is basically going to apply to all API versions of Android older than Android 3.0. As you're going to see here in a moment, when we create more of these, you're also going to have Theme Hollow. And this is a cheat sheet. This isn't something you need to memorize. This was introduced in the Android API 11. And then what you may or may not be used to using or seeing, you also have Theme Hollow Light Dot Dark action bar. And there are other ones as well. And this was introduced in the API 14, which is what we are currently pretty much using. And as you can also see there, Android 4.0 also included the action bar that's going to allow you to display buttons, just like I showed you in a previous tutorial whenever I covered the action bar. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to come in here and go app base theme and we're doing this once again to make sure that this is going to work with all these older versions of Android okay and this is basically something that I'm doing right now just so that I can cover everything and by changing this to app base theme what we're saying here is that this application is going to inherit the theme based off of the Android API version on said device and that is the reason why we're using theme light right there what we're going to do here is we're going to come in and do another style and we're going to call this one app theme and then we're going to say that the parent is going to be app base theme Close that off right there. Now inside of here, you're going to be able to make customizations that won't be specific to any API inside of this area. Up here, you can also make changes to the overall application as well. We're going to focus in on here throughout most of the tutorial, but most of the changes I'm going to make are actually going to be in API version 14, as you're going to see in a moment. And one thing we want to do also is go over to the Android manifest and open this up. And you're going to see right here is where we are going to define our theme for our application. And this is just going to specify the theme that's going to be used for this specific app. 
And as you can also see, we're not going to have to make any changes here. Now, if I want to be able to have my application work for Android version 3 and prior, and also for the API 11 and 14 and everything thereafter, what I'm going to have to do is go over here and create multiple different values folders. Now, make sure you create these values folders in the resources folder. We're just going to go new, and I'm going to go directory, and this guy's going to open up. Now, if I want to target the version 11 of our API. I'm just going to go and type in values dash v11 and go OK. And you can see values v11 is there. And then I'm going to come in and go new and I'm going to go file. And this guy's name is going to be styles.xml just like the previous one. And I'm going to hit OK. Now to save myself a little time, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to copy all this. And as you can see, I'm going to get the base theme name here jump back over into our other styles folder and I'm going to go resources and then inside of here I'm going to paste this in and remember since this is going to be version 11 in this situation I'm going to use theme hollow light this guy right here so jump back over into this guy and then paste it in right there and then inside of here what I'll be able to do is make changes specific to the Android, any device anyway, using Android API 11 through 13. The other one is going to use 10 and backwards. This guy right here is going to be targeted at Android API 10 and lower. Jump back over here. And this is all that I need to do to make this work automatically because all these themes are built in. I'm also going to create a folder in the resources folder that is going to target version 14 of Android. So create a new directory. See if you can guess what's going to go inside of here. It's going to be values-v14, like that. Click OK, and there it is. And then I'm going to create a new file inside of this. New, and File, and guess what this one's going to be called? It's going to be called styles.xml, and then OK again. There that is. I just come in here, select this whole entire thing, paste this inside of here. And then in this situation, we're going to use theme hollow light dot. And remember, this has the action bar. Make sure you put a dot in there. Dark action bar. And there it is. And this is going to target API 14 plus. And whatever the highest folder is in regards to version, that is going to target every API over 14. Now what I'm going to do is come over here to our resources folder and go to layout and activity my.xml is going to open up. And what I'm going to do here is create a very simplistic application so that I don't distract from what I want to really focus in on here. So we already have a text view inside of here and I'm actually going to come into the text area and I'm going to change this name. Another thing we can do before I do that is over here in this display of what your application looks like you can come up here and click on the app theme area and you'll be able to open up all types of different themes to sample exactly what they would look like. So if I want to see what hollow light looks like I would just click on this and then click on OK and you're going to see how it changed up here. And I can come in and click on this again. Hollow light dark action bar. Click on that. Come down here. Click OK. And you're going to see we're back to where we are. And then you can see our default light right here. And click on OK. And you can see what that looks like. So that's going to be the older versions of Android. And let's go back inside of here. Click on hollow light dark action bar. So we're back to where we were again. And there that is. Click OK. And there we are again. So this is going to be Android 14 and above. And then what I'm going to do is go Android ID, use code completion as much as humanly possible. And let's just call this text view one. Going to pop over into the design section and I'm going to get myself an editable text field. This guy right here. And just drag this guy up here and drop him anywhere. Come over into the property section and I can change a whole bunch of different things inside of here if I'd like. Scroll down to text and I could say something like enter here. Come up here, change this to match parent. There we go. And there it fills the whole entire screen. And I can also just leave the edit text as the name for my editable text box. And then I'm going to go in and get myself another text view. Plain text view. Grab that. Drop it inside of here. Bounce over inside of this and just let the text view name be that ID. Or maybe I want to change this to text view 2 instead since I have the other one set for 1. And that works. Go into the design section. Grab another one. Plain text view. And I'm just dragging a whole bunch of these out here so that I can style them and keep everything simple at the same time. And then let's say I also want to come in and get a button. Just play around with that. Bounce over into the text tab right there. And just make sure everything has IDs. And everything does, and that's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over into styles.xml. And this is going to be the one that is specific to the one that has the dark action bar, which is going to be Android 14 and above. And I'm going to come in here and just mess around with a whole bunch 
bunch of different styles. Now inside of the style tag right here, how are we specifically going to change different styles? Well, you just type in item and, and name, and here is where you're going to define the style that you want to specifically change. So let's say that I want to change the window background color for the whole entire app. Just type in window background, and then close that off. And then inside of here, let's just throw a color inside. And you're also going to see over here, it's going to show you what that color is. And if you're wondering where exactly you find out all these different things you can style, you just go to developer.android.com, reference, Android, R, stylable, HTML, theme. So let's say that, for example, I wanted to change uh, font colors and a whole bunch of other different things. This is going to be a page you're going to look at yourself to figure out. This is a little bit of a learning curve, but basically every single thing you want is going to be at this URL. So for example, let's say I want to change the text color for all widgets across the entire app. I would just come inside of here, and we're going to use the item tag again. And you can see there are all of the different changes I want to make. And you can also see over here the color I defined is red. And of course, these are just hexadecimal values. And if we jump back over into Activity My, well, I have to change that style and save it first. And I'm going to come up here and switch this to Nexus 7, which is something that I defined previously. And you're going to see that all of the colors for the whole entire app changed, as well as the background color right there. So let's jump back over into styles.xml, change a couple other different things. What I decided to do this time is to make changes to the font for the font family. And you can see right there, that's where it is. And of course, you can click on this and find out more information about the different fonts that are available. But I went ahead and did that research for you ahead of time. And we can paste inside of here. And you're going to see all of the different font family types that you're going to be able to use. And in this situation, I'm just going to use sans serif. And it's going to give you a little error here that says that you need to use API level 6. Well, we're not going to worry about that because I have all of this information inside of the version 14 version right here, as you can see. So all these changes will take effect for the older versions of Android, and the other ones will just be neglected or ignored. So jump back over into here again, and you're now going to see that these are bolded. And you're also going to see, based off that URL that I mentioned before, you're going to be able to change the font family, the shadow color, the horizontal offset of the shadow, the vertical offset of the shadow, and a whole bunch of other different things to design the exact theme using all of the exact styles that you would like. Now it's a little bit advanced at this point in time, and it's kind of unlikely you're going to go in there and make these dramatic changes, but at least whenever you want to do that, you're going to know exactly how to do it. Another thing that's interesting is you're going to be able to define styles for or single widgets as well as multiple widgets and I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically you're just going to go outside of the style tags and you're going to create a new set of style tags. And for this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the name of text view 1, close off that tag, and then again you're going to just create different items for those specific things that you want to change. So we're going to go item and we're going to go name and so let's say that I want to change the text size there that is and then inside of this we're just going to put say 30 SP. Come down here and let's say that I want to create another change so I'm going to go item again and this time I want to change the text style and again these are all in the properties section for your application so if you open this up and you go into the design section what I'm doing here is I'm editing all of these guys right here that's what I'm changing just doing it over in the style sheet style and then close that off and let's say that I want to make everything that inherits this specific style 30 SP as well as bold so save that then jump over into activity my again and I, this time I'm going to go into the text area right here and if I want to add that specific style to this text view, sorry about the wonky sort of back and forth there, I'm going to go style, and then inside of this, I'm going to go at style forward slash text view one. And if we save that, you're going to see that I, this increased the size as well as made it bold, even though we already previously made it bold. So that's how you're going to be able to specifically style very specific widgets. Another thing you can do over into styles.xml again is let's create another style tag block. And this time I'm going to not only inherit a style that I previously defined above, this one, text view one, but I'm also going to go in and override parts of it. Now, just so you know, you're not going to be able to do this with Android specific saved theme styles, and you're only going to be able to do them with your own. So just make sure you're aware of that. So we're just going to go style again, and this time I'm going to call this edit text. 
So you can do it even with other different types of widgets. They don't specifically have to be only use text view stylings. You can use anything you want. And we're just going to go parent is equal to, and we're going to define the style text view one, which is specifically what we just created right above. And then let's say that we want this to be item again, and we want to override the text styling. Instead of having it be bold, let's make it normal. So the name here, again, you're gonna go Android and text style, close that off, and let's change that to normal. Jump over into Activity My, and then let's create a style for our editable text box. And you can see over here the change as it's being made. Let's increase the size here just a little bit. Editable text box, this guy right here is specifically what we're gonna change. So I'm gonna go style is equal to at style forward slash edit text. And there you can see it increased the size, but it is not bold. Jump back over into styles.xml. And once again, I'm using this specific style. This is where I'm making all my changes. So here we are again. And this time I'm going to both inherit as well as add an additional style. So go in here, create another style tag. The name for it is gonna be text view one. So I'm going to inherit that style and then I'm going to give it its own specific name and that's gonna be text view two. Now for this guy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inherit everything but I'm gonna add something on top of that. So I'll just go item again, name, and let's say that I want to change the padding specifically. No problem. And let's change this to 30 dp. Save it. Activity. Go down here into this text view. And now in activity my, I'm just going to go style again and at style forward slash. And I'm going to go text view one dot text view two. And it'll give you a little bit of an error. And you can see the changes made to that text view. So it has the additional padding and it also inherits both bold and then the very specific size for that font. And of course, back over into styles. And as long as you continue adding periods, you're going to be able to add additional styles. That's just the way that it's all set up. So let's go in here and go style again. And yes, you can go text view one dot text view two. Make sure you keep all the names exactly the same. And then go text view three. And what specifically we want to change this time. Uh, let's say we want to change, well, just come in here, go item again. And let's say with this new style, we want to make a change to the margin top. I don't know, I'm just pulling this out of my head. So let's just go layout, margin, top, close that off. And let's make this 15 DP. And then of course, back over into the main activity, save ourselves a little bit of time, copy that, bounce that in there. And then at the very end of this, type in period, text, view, three. Save it. And there you can see that there's also a margin change here. Back over in styles.xml and just ticking off each one of these. Another thing that is very useful is to be able to come in here and define styles that are going to be applied automatically without you needing to define styles over in activity underscore my. And in that situation, we just come in here and go style again. It's exactly the same every single time, except for the name part. We're going to call this text view. And the parent in this situation is going to be Android style forward slash widget text view. And then we can define everything we want inside of this, just like we did before. We'll just go item again. And then the specific name is going to be, uh, let's say we want to go and change the text size. And let's change that to 55 SP. And then let's add another item inside of this. And let's say that we also want to change the text style. And in this situation, let's make that bold. And there you can see everything is bold now. And basically, guys, that is everything you need to know about changing styles inside of Android Studio and also creating your own personalized themes. Once again, get very acquainted with this very specific URL, and I'll put a link to it in the description. And please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.